Hey, what's up guys? My name is Sam and I am a registered nurse and I've been a nurse for a few years now. I know I look young, but trust me, I'm not as young as I look. Um, but today I'm going to talk to you guys about why I left bedside nursing. Um, I currently, I saw, so I went from bedside nursing into what's called nursing case management. Okay, and today I'm gonna to talk to you guys about why I left bedside nursing. Okay, and have a few notes here that I wrote down. So I want to make sure that I give you guys all the information you guys need. Phone keeps slipping. Sorry about that. So I can give you guys all the information you guys need, so that you guys can make a decision on whether you guys want to be a bedside nurse or you guys want to work in administration management or do something like nursing case management where you're not too heavily involved with seeing patients and doing direct patient care. All right, so the first reason why I left bedside nursing is because it got too stressful, guys. So I remember one of my jobs as a nurse was working on the medical surgical floor. And as you know, on the medical surgical floor, the nurse to patient ratio is one to five. So in other words, I was taking care of five patients, okay? And uh, managing five patients can be a lot of work. So think about it, think about it like this. I would show up to work and try to do my 12 hour shift. And all of a sudden I would get the, the, the uh, call light would be going off. And I would go to the patient room and ask the patient, what does he need? And the patient will be like, oh, I'm complaining of pain. All of a sudden, while I'm in that room already, another call light of another one of my patients goes off and they're complaining that um, they want more coffee. And then another call light comes off and they're, com and, and they're complaining that, um, that they haven't received their meds. And then, then all of a sudden I, my pager goes off or I get a call um, telling me that I'm gonna get another patient, a new admit. So I'm juggling all of this, um, and you have to, as a as a bedside nurse, you have to prioritize and see what what takes priority, what takes precedence, and then move down the line um, from greatest from the greatest of importance to the least of importance. So think about it like this: so your mind is just constantly being bombarded. And as a bedside nurse, you're constantly doing task after task. And oftentimes, um, you know, you're, you're giving patients medications that are, are strong. Like, for example, a patient, you know, patients complaining of, of pain, you're injecting morphine. Um, so the, sometimes you inject pain medications like morphine that if you give too much, you know, you can knock out the respiratory drive and, 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 uh, cause them to go into respiratory depression um, and so you know all of this trying to manage five patients at a time was just becoming too much for me um, and oftentimes like you know like let's say like I would oftentimes not only that but you get all, a lot of outside stuff trying to um, interfere with your work like patients families start calling you and want to know why is my why is my uh, loved one not getting this medication or why is he getting this medication and um, when is he going to be discharged or why is he being discharged from the hospital too early and so the not only do you have to worry about patients but you also have to deal with the patients uh, angry family members or upset family members and so you're dealing with all of this craziness all this chaos all at once so that was one reason why I left bedside nursing. Another reason was um, I don't want to be exposed to bodily fluids. So as a bedside nurse, you're going to be exposed to blood, urine, poop, uh, you name it. Uh, people sneezing on you, boogers. And so doing nursing case management, as you can see, I show up in a button up shirt to work. I, I get to work clean and I get to leave work being clean as well. So for me, that was a plus. And so as a bedside nurse, I remember like, I would get patients sometimes sneezing in my face and I'm like, what the heck? And I would rush to the restroom and try to wash my face uh, like 20 times to get as much of it off as I could. So I can at least feel like, you know, 
I got it off me. Um, but yeah, it was just, and then sometimes, you know, you're working with wounds. Sometimes, you know, like there's blood, there's blood in those wounds and there's all this stuff or, you know, sometimes when you get your patient, they need, they need to urinate, you get them under the, the, the bedpan and sometimes the bedpan will flip over and sometimes you can get urine over you and it's, it's crazy. I mean, it's a rewarding job, but, um, yeah. I personally don't want to be exposed to these fluids so you can contract a disease and I'm still way too young. I have a lot of life in me and I want to enjoy my youth or my young adulthood. So that was one reason why I left bedside nursing. Obviously we need nurses. Nurses are very, bedside nurses are very important. And some of you guys love to be at the bedside and don't mind being exposed to bodily fluids. You guys rock and you got, without you guys, we base hospitals wouldn't be able to function. So just know that you guys are super important for me personally. I can't deal with that. So that's one of the reasons why I left bedside nursing. Another one is, um, as a bedside nurse taking care of patients, I remember I would have to help the patient up if they wanted to go to the restroom. I would have to help the patient get up if, if they had poor, uh, mobility, um, if they have, if they were, dependent on mobilization and needed a caregiver assistance to get up from the bed and go to the restroom or get up from the bed and go to the bedside commode. You know, as a nurse, I would have to be there to help them up, get out of bed and help place them on the bedside commode or help them get to the, to the toilet. And oftentimes, you know, after bending over and picking up patients so many times, your back starts to hurt and starts to give out. And that was one of the things that happened to me. I actually messed up my lower back um, and I was only a few years into my nursing career and I'm like, man, I'm already getting injured. Um, I've only had like a couple years into my nursing career and I'm like, if this keeps going on, I'm not going to last as a nurse. And so, um, you know, I started, I, when I learned about nursing case management, I was like, man, this seems like a, a better career path for me. Cause I can see that I can see myself doing this, um, up until, you know, I'm old, I've got white hair and a white beard. Um, but doing direct patient care, I don't see my, I can't see myself doing it long term because I'm, uh, and if I do, like I'll probably be like, I'll probably have a bad back. And being one of those nurses that just moves sluggishly and slowly, and I don't want to be that person. I honestly want to be a mobile. I want to be healthy. I want to, you know, take care of my back and my body, so, so that I, you know I can have a long career, a long happy career. And so that's why I chose nursing case management and I left bedside nursing. Like I said, I also was, and also just want to add, I was using bad, um, bad, uh, what's, what is it like, um, bad ergonomics, like for moving patients or, and um, I didn't have the correct posture and the correct, um, I wasn't, I was using a lot of my lower back and my arms to lift up patients. I was, and what they teach you is you got to use your, your legs to lift up and stuff like that. And I, and I was, I didn't have a, good techniques for moving patients. So that was partly why I injured my back, I, I wanna say. But um, but yeah, like after so much repetitive movement of moving patients, I mean, it's gonna catch up with you and you're eventually gonna hurt your back. Another reason is, I wasn't appreciated, uh, another reason why, why I left bedside nursing is I wasn't appreciated by patients. I mean, some patients do appreciate you and they make your day, they, they can make your day, but sometimes you get those angry patients that are just, negative and dissatisfied and they treat you bad and cuss you out and you know and then you walk into the other patient room and you have to show up to the room with a smile on your face knowing that you just got cussed out by the other patient that uh, that you just walked out of the room and it's just like you know I was just like man I felt like I was being a servant I wasn't being appreciated and I kind of had to play this 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 game where I, I got to put on a smile even though the other patient just cussed me out. You know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's really hard to do that sometimes. But as nurses, you know, we have to do this because we have to be professional about our jobs. Uh, the other, um, the other, another reason is, I'm gonna try to walk, go through this real fast. Another reason is because, you know, as a bedside nurse, you're giving so many medications to different patients. And, you know, you look at your, your MAR and you got like a hundred, plus medications you got to give out within a short amount of time and it's very easy to make a medication error and as a 
professional nurse, I don't want to put myself in that position. Thank God I've never done a medication error throughout my nursing career. But I mean, after doing it so much, I mean, it's bound to happen. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much, that pretty much sums up why I left bedside nursing. Um, but like I said, some of us were made to be bedside nurses. Kudos to you guys. But me personally, I don't think that's for me. That's why I'm so thankful to be a registered nurse because nursing is so broad. If you want to work with patients, you can. If you want to work, uh, if you don't want to work with patients so much, um, you can work behind the scenes as a nurse case manager. If you want to work with old people, you can work with old people. If you only want to work with babies, you can work with babies. Um, there's so many opportunities. If you want to be, a, if you want to travel, you can become a travel nurse. Becoming a nurse is the greatest thing that, or the greatest career choice you can make. So for all you future nurses and current nurses, um, you guys are making a, you guys made a decision, you made the right decision to get into the nursing field. All right, guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below. Um, I hope this video helped you guys like it if you if you feel this video was informative and provided you with the knowledge that you needed and Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, my actual channel is called the nursing channel um, and You can follow that channel. Um, I created a second channel, which is this one right here um, so don't forget to follow on the other channel I have way more videos if you guys if you guys like these if you like the videos if you like these videos that, that I'm creating. All right, guys, uh, take care, and I'm out.